video i'm going to share with you what it's like living here in new bedford massachusetts um i moved here 17 years ago i'm going to share with you my experience you know living here in new bedford massachusetts um, we're gonna i'm going to share with you the things that you know i like and some things that i don't like so stay tuned we're going to get at it right now Hello, my name is uh, Roberto, and if you're new here to my channel, here I do uh, videos about New Bedford, Massachusetts, and the surrounding areas. I am a real estate agent here in Massachusetts and Rhode Island. This channel is all about providing you information. You know, if you're looking to move to uh, New Bedford or the surrounding areas, and the most importantly, I do go to a uh, different neighborhoods and uh, different cities here in Massachusetts and Rhode Island, and I do vlogs. People find this kind of videos very helpful to help them decide uh, where they should live. And, and if you're looking to move to a Massachusetts or a Dallas, feel free to give me a call. You can send me a text or shoot me an email. And also you can book a Zoom call with me. I'll leave the link in the description below so go ahead and check that out. What I really love about New Bedford is the beach. Right now I'm standing right, uh, right now I'm at the beach. Uh, Right now I'm at the beach. It's a very nice day today as we are going through uh, summertime. Uh, it's in the high 75s today. Coming, I really love the beach. Me coming from a from a me coming from a tropical island. So for me this was a you know I really enjoy uh, New Bedford here because you know we have the beach. You can see behind me. You know there's a nice beach right there. So if you're somebody that you know you like to uh, swim. If you're somebody that you know likes the beach and you probably uh you like no bad first also i do enjoy fishing um sometimes i do come over here me and my friends we uh we fish over there and yeah if you can see over there um they have like a volleyball volleyball uh net that you can play there there's a parking lot over there that you can park and usually summertime over here so many people come from uh, all of different places and 4th of July they do uh, the fireworks over there too you know, which is really nice um, I hope I hope it's not I hope the wind is not too bad it's not too loud uh, you know you know there's people at the beach right now but I do believe the water is still cold you know we're not in summertime yet it does take a little you know, it does take a little while for the water to get warm. Usually, maybe like June, July, the water will start to get hot. But I do believe right now the water is very cold. By the way, the beach is located in the southern area. Uh, you know, this is a nice neighborhood here. Uh, let, me see, let me turn around. I don't know if you can see behind me. There's nice uh, single-family homes here. You know, really nice area. And... Um, you know if you're coming from the northern area it's about you know 15 20 minutes drive to the beach it's not too far uh, yeah so if you want to live close to the beach then uh yeah you might want to choose the southern area now the other thing that i really love about uh new bedford is walkability so new bedford actually has uh, very nice places that you can walk uh, you know, if you can walk your, with your dog or you can even ride your bike like right now where I'm walking uh, Near the beach. It's actually a very nice place to walk. We also have one uh, like in the Buttonwood Park and Also, there's another one here uh, Which is also by the beach. It's it's uh, down the street over there It's a nice place that you can walk to and they have some in the north end uh, you know so if you enjoy outdoors if you enjoy riding your bike and yes new bath is actually a very nice uh place for this as you can see right now there's people on their bikes uh riding their bikes right now which is uh super uh super nice you know i like to ride my bike uh once in a while too uh, so it's really nice for that I don't know if you can see behind me there's people riding the bike the bikes right there if you can see behind me a uh, nice view over there that's actually a ferry haven uh, and by the way where i'm walking right now you know if you are uh, down the street there's actually a nice restaurant that they uh, opened a few years ago which is actually really nice um, you know if you love seafood over there 
there is actually a nice restaurant. If you ever visit the city of Nobel from Massachusetts, especially if you come uh, near the beach area and if you're looking for something to eat, uh, I'll definitely, uh, so if you're looking for something to eat, definitely check them out. The other thing here in uh, Nobel from Massachusetts is the history. You're going to find history everywhere here in uh, Nobel from Massachusetts, especially here in the southern area, like near the beach. You're gonna find. Let me let me turn the camera around real quick. You're going to find something like this everywhere in downtown, here in the southern near the beach. Uh, you know, there's uh, there's history. There's history everywhere here. As you know, Nobel is a it's a very historical city. So, but I, you know, if you're somebody that is into history, you're probably gonna enjoy um, the history of Nobefer here, um, which is uh, very nice. Uh, let me continue my walking over here. Um, now, there's one thing that I really don't like about Nobefer. I hate it. And, you know, some people, for some people, they might like it, but for me, I don't really like it, which is the winter. I don't like the winter. You know, me coming from a uh, from a place that where you know it was it's always you know warm. Um, you know, we don't really have the winter there. So when I got here, it was something that I kind of had to adapt, and I still don't like it till this day. After you know living here for 17 years, uh, but the winter is just. Sometimes it does get really cold here and we get snow, sometimes snowstorms and not only that, the other thing that I hate about the winter is, you know, I have a very sensitive skin, uh, you know, since I got here I still get this problem till this day after 17 years is, you know, when you have a very sensitive skin sometimes the winter here is very dry and, you know, my skin I kind of get, you know, very itchy, you know, I'm scratching everywhere. This only happens when it comes to winter time, so I really hate it. Uh, and I remember, the, you know, when I got here, um, it was uh, the winter. When I got here, the winter was. You know, we were going to springtime, but it was still a little bit cold. You know, there was a little bit of snow. Uh, you know, the moment I got here, after like a month or two, you know, my body started to get really itchy. I couldn't figure out why was that. Uh, you know, went to the doctor and they told me it was because of the winter and like I said, I still get this problem every single winter so I just, I really hate the winter but the good thing about the weather here in Obefford we have all four seasons you know, we got the summertime, we got the winter then we got the spring and then we got the fall uh, some people enjoy the winter, some people don't uh, but yes, I don't like the winter and now, I remember when I I remember when I moved to here, used to snow a lot, used to snow all the time, it used to get like snowstorms. Uh, but now it doesn't snow a lot like it used to. So, but yes, if you're coming from a different country, maybe you're coming from a warm place, just keep in mind that it does get very cold here in November. I decided to get out of there because the wind was getting uh, too loud. Um, so, I mean, we're still in the beach neighborhood, but you know, with the cars driving by. Uh, I mean, I hope you guys were able to hear me, uh, but the wind was getting too loud. So back to what I was saying is, you know, I just love how we have all four seasons here. And uh, my favorite season is summertime. And, you know, I do like the, my favorite season is summertime. It's super fun here in New Bedford, so much things to do. And like I said, we have the beach here. Uh, you can go fish, swim, uh, you know, just go for the day. Uh, here at the beach you don't have to drive far uh, in order for you to go to the beach but i think that's uh, i think that's pretty much it uh, i mean i i think that's the only thing i hate about new Bedford. i mean um, i can't really uh, think of anything else other than the winter you know i like I said, I, I've been living here for 17 years and I don't think, you know, since I moved here, I just, I just stayed here. 
I don't think I would see myself moving uh, somewhere else or if I do it has to be somewhere uh, somewhere very close to New Bedford somewhere where I can uh, still come to New Bedford uh, you know I did went to Texas uh, last summer um, you know it was like damn Texas is very 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 hot I mean I don't I would never live in Texas I don't know how those people do it but I was there for about a week and I couldn't wait to get out of there and you know especially summertime every day it was like 110 degrees 115 degrees that's crazy that's way too hot my wife was there too she was like oh hell no uh, you know because I, I asked her hey you think Texas is somewhere that you would uh, consider living she's like oh hell no it's way too hot you can't stand the heat but here in Nobel from Massachusetts I think the highest that I usually see it's around 90 degrees but usually it doesn't last you know the weather is here is always changing uh, sometimes we go from a hot day to like a rainy day uh, or we go from 90 degrees to 80 degrees so uh, you know the weather here is it's very nice uh, the, other thing that, the other thing that I really enjoy here in Nobef is the food now we have some amazing food here in Nobef Massachusetts you know we have all different type of food uh, you know we got the seafood we got Spanish food uh, Japanese food Mexican food Chinese food uh, we have it all I mean especially seafood you know where I came from I used to eat seafood all the time so coming here to New Bedford you know it's something that I I really enjoy because you know I, I love to eat seafood especially lobster and one of my favorite restaurant here to go uh, you know Beth is the black whale you know, the back the black whale is uh, right there near downtown you know if you haven't been there yet or if you if you ever visit the city of New Bedford, Massachusetts and you're looking for a place to eat I highly recommend the black whale their food is amazing and if they have a raw bar inside you know if you're with friends you can go there have a drink but yes the black whale it's it's awesome I love their uh, seafood there love their lobster you will find um, you will find restaurants everywhere here uh, even uh, you know pizza you know if you like Domino's pizza they you know they have all different type of food here you can find a uh, restaurant in the north end south end uh, the west end and also they have some nice Portuguese uh, restaurant here too they have it all by the way guys I do speak Portuguese Spanish and I came in Creole so like I said feel free to reach out to me if you have any question about the area uh, you know feel free to reach out to me even if you're just here visiting and if you're looking for uh, you know if you're looking for somebody to show you around show me a text show me a text or give me a call by the way I'm walking at this soccer field here in the south uh, southern area I used to play here all the time you know every summertime we used to play here uh, I haven't played in a while but you know if you like soccer uh, check out this uh, this field here in the south end it's uh, it's free to the public you know you can come and play over here uh, also if you have kids that like soccer I have a son he's about to be eight and he re uh, he really loves to play soccer we do come here once in a while uh, another thing that I like about New Bedford because it's a very diverse city usually here in New Bedford you're gonna find people from all different countries so um, when I moved here there was a lot of people uh, from my uh, there was a lot of people from my country so it was uh, you know easy for me to make friends and uh, you know also I was able to uh, see some old friends from the same uh, from the same country where I am from so it was a lot easier for me and also people here are nice easy to get along I remember when I went to high school I had a lot of friends there friends from Puerto Rico friends from like Guatemala even uh, friends from uh, India so it's you know it's easy to get along here with the people uh, so for me that was you know that was easy you know moving here I was able to make a lot of friends um, and especially people from my country so it was it was easy to get along so I mean if you're coming from a different country you're probably gonna find somebody 
you know from the same uh, country as you and like I said everybody gets along here it's not like a place where you know maybe nobody talks to you and you know you feel like you're uh, you're alone but I don't think here in Obefer that's not the case uh, whether you're coming from even uh, from a different state but it's you know it's easy to make friends here and you know I heard I heard the term people say people from Massachusetts I, I think they say mass holes something like that uh, I mean I don't think here in Obefer I don't think so I don't know maybe somewhere else but here in Obefer everybody gets along uh, you know at least for me you know I, I have a lot of friends and like I said when I was in high school I, I met a lot of uh, nice people from all different uh, places and I still see you know those old friends till this day uh, you know people that we graduated from high school together I still see them once in a while so you know if you if you think about making uh, no for your next move uh, you'll probably well, you'll probably like uh, like over here you know, it's really nice uh, let me see what's uh, what's the other thing that I can talk about I mean uh, I'm trying to remember what else I can talk about I think I kind of pretty much say everything but right you know right now off the top of my head I don't uh, I, I don't remember I don't remember anything else but I think that's pretty much it uh, maybe I can go show you guys uh, around show you a little bit and, and actually right there down the street um, you can uh, there's a place you can get ice cream so if you come to the beach uh, right there down the street to grab ice cream and I think they do have uh, I think they do have hot dogs too and like hamburgers over there I think that's pretty much it I mean I can't really think of anything else right now uh, but yes that's uh, that was my experience you know living here in the West Massachusetts you know like I said if you are thinking about making a move to Massachusetts and feel free to reach out to me uh, book a zoom call with me and you can also shoot me a text and um, and also subscribe to the channel you know I go to different neighborhoods and I do vlogs like this and so yeah subscribe to the channel and go watch more uh, videos that I that I did I did a vlog in the north end uh, you can watch that next but until then I'll uh, see you guys on the next video